Oh, it's an art. It's an art. All the flip flopping and the flying and the kicks in the face. Well, bro, maybe Mandy Rose looks at this as an art. Maybe she looks at her, her body as, as an art and being sexual and, you know, the, the, the way she positions herself. She may look at that the same exact way. As far as Dana Brooke, I don't I know that her longtime boyfriend or fiance or something, I think he passed, uh, if I'm not mistaken, like uh, not too long ago. And I, I don't know. If, I think she might be in another relationship. But but anyways, the uh, last the early last year, they weren't doing anything. I mean, they were being booked so poorly. And so w when Vince and I would do the raw review, we would uh, talk about their segment and then <laughs> <laughs> and so we we end up flexing bounces because they come they, out and do this. Yeah, that's, that's what they, they would do. Out and do this, the bounces. And, and I mentioned and I mentioned one show that you ever notice that, especially Dana Brooke. Uh, you ever notice Dana Brooke when she does her gimmick, she just bounces her biceps for 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 a second, and then she's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's true." And then. That spawned the bouncies. Bouncies. <laughs> yes. We, we called them the bouncies. And uh, the bouncies got super over, man. The, the uh, thousands upon thousands of people who uh, who follow the Legion of Raw podcast, post Raw, tons of tweets about it. And the bouncies became over, man. And so, and I, I think they became so over because of us that uh, Vince decided to split them up. And Mandy Rose went to NXT, and uh, she ended up doing well in NXT, winning the championship early on. But she's gone now because, look, we don't know why. There's been tons of reports. Mandy Rose hasn't said anything. Tino Sabatelli hasn't said anything, so we don't know exactly why. The, among the rumors are pictures being leaked, you know, there's rumors of, you know, they wanted to get a cut of her uh, subscriber only accounts, you know, her risque subscriber only account. And she wasn't or they wanted her to let it go because, you know, how WWE is wanted a, 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 wanted a part of everything and she didn't want to let it go. And so they let her go. There was a rumor of, of pictures getting leaked and they said, OK, well, let's we, we got to let you go because of, you know, for PR reasons. There's been rumors swirling. So, Vince, let's start with you. Your thought of the release of Mandy Rose, one half, formerly one half of the bouncers. Bro, listen. I, I, I get so pissed off with the WWE when it comes to stuff like this because it goes back to when Triple H took such a horrible, horrible shot at China. Yeah. When China was alive, saying China's not in the Hall of Fame because if little Johnny went on his computer and Googled China, what is he going to see? Which pissed me off, and that really caused the heat between me and Triple H to this day because I went off on him like a lunatic. Okay, so now you've got Mandy Rhodes purportedly doing this, this fan-only gimmick. It's not fan-only. It's something similar. Supposedly, there were uh, – she – you know, scenes of her maybe touching herself, maybe showing a little top, you know, whatever. And, you know, obviously the WWE, you know, has a big problem with that. Here, here's what I'd like to think, Chris. I'd like to think this. I'd like to think that uh, they didn't like it. They told her to stop. And she was making so much money on her own yeah. that she said, nah. Nah, I'm not. And here's why I think that's true, Chris. Here's why I think that's true for a couple of reasons. Number one, I cannot see them firing her because of that without a warning. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it's, if listen, man, if you don't take it down, we're going to have to let you go. Okay, I can't just see, oh my God, somebody saw this and Bruce sent it to Stephanie and she's fine. It don't work that way. You got to be called in. You got to get written up. You got to be given a warning. You got to be told to stop. Okay. So I have to assume that was probably the scenario when she's like, no, because she probably makes a boatload of money. Now, on top of that, Chris, here's the beauty EC3. Mm -hmm. She can roll the dice and bet on herself 
because if for some reason or another this thing goes south she just has to call tony khan i, I mean it's you know it's really that simple yeah. so I, I have to believe she was making a lot of money doing this it's a lot easier than her breaking her back in the ring and being on the road and all these shows for god knows how many days and she made the decision to say, you know what? It's a it's a revenue stream for me. I think I'm going to continue it. If that doesn't work for you guys, then I guess we'll go. That's what I would like to believe. I, yeah, I heard that she, uh, I heard that the deal, the, the decision to let her go happened like like a week or so before her dropping the title because she was supposed to go against Roxanne Perez at their big New Year's thing in a few weeks. Um, but because of this, she dropped the title earlier. So um, it seems like she, you know, she made a good business decision. She didn't just, you know, haul off and leave and say, I was, you know, I'm upset, which rightfully so, you know, she would be justified in doing so. But still being the business person that she is, she said, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll gracefully drop the title to Roxanne Perez. So good for her for doing that, even from a business. Standpoint. You know, Chris, here, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm not one of these guys. I am not going to apologize for being attracted to sexy women. You know what I say, Chris? I say, blame God, bro. God, God, God created her. <laughs> blame, blame him. You want to blame anybody, blame him. I am not going to apologize for, you know, being attracted to beautiful, sexy women. Now, bro, you can argue. How how do all these guys say EC3? Oh, it's an art. It, it's an art. All oh, the flip flopping and the flying and the kicks in the face. Well, bro, maybe Mandy Rose looks at this as an art. Maybe she looks at her, her body as as an art and being sexual and you know the, the the way she positions herself. She may look at that the same exact way. And as far as I'm concerned. Bro, no, no blood, no foul. And if this is how you're making a living and you're comfortable with it, and you could do this instead of break, in, instead of the WWE owning your, you know what? I don't think it's a hard choice. Go ahead, EC3. I mean, I think you took everything I'd want to say. I probably have been a little more couth and a little more, you know, <laughs> on direct with it. <laughs> no, but if you're making the probably the money in this it's a creator's economy and here's the thing that you know i think vince had a problem with this i don't know how triple h feels but the fact talent can make money outside of them and we're not beholden to begging for contracts right. jobs and these things where there's options where she in her rightful place and power to her if she's creating her art and she's making a great living she goes no nah, i'm good you know now you gotta quit it eh. I don't, I don't want to. But, well, we're going to fire you. I'm, okay, that's fine. I mean, that's your choice. And, you know, they're on the contractor. So kudos to her. I do agree that I'm, she is probably making that kind of money. And at the same time, she's going to be able to transition. Having that freedom where the third party thing was kind of like under the radar or you're not really allowed to. She's not going to be hurting for um, supplement companies and energy drinks and yeah. any sort of people that beg for celebrity influence with very attractive people on social media she's going to be lined right up with it and you know what? it's probably a hundred times easier and a hundred times less stressful and more power to her to pursue what she wants to do in her off time and if she wants to wrestle she's not going to be hurting to find matches or work so yeah, yeah she's she, definitely not going to be hurting to find hey, Chris, well, i'm going to wrestle a match i can command she can go command a rate wherever and whenever to have that match whether it's independent or another tv company so and chris and, and and what were we just talking about the backstage interview of this week mm -hmm. right cleavage yeah. down to here the the dress hiked up to here <laughs> what what are you doing bro like you, you you're either you're either in that game or you're not yeah it's say that again is that tom phillips <laughs> no, Kathy Kelly was the first. Oh, okay. yeah, Kelly, yeah, Tom Phillips had his cleavage down. And, uh, yeah, very I mean, provocative. Come on, <laughs> come on, Chris, aren't we doing the same thing? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I'm I'm cut from different cloth when it comes to that. I'm not a big fan of uh, just the provocative type of deal. Um, yeah. uh, that's just that's just me, and I don't think there's. Uh, I, but here's the thing: if if if, if she's a single woman you know she's engaged but she's not married so you know she's look she's a grown woman 
that's what she wants to do on her off time. That's that's up to her. And at the end of the day, the WWE is a company who hires independent contractors. So she's an independent contractor. Yeah. So you shouldn't have your hand on every single income stream right. that she gets right. as yeah. an independent contractor. To an extent, but they only have that platform, and this is not me to jump on WWE's back, but just a different point. They only have that platform because of the national notoriety that comes with being in the biggest wrestling company in the entire world. That whether there should be terms dictated and percentages agreed upon and things that have been built outside of that realm to things that are being built with inside that realm. Like there should be discussions to be had, but a lot of that fame comes from being on that platform. So there is some sort of sense of, well, you wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for this. So where are we cut in? And that's business. Sure. But at the same time, you're using your, you're, you're using that platform to your advantage. So just because some, just because you have a, you work for a company, so so it's basically you're hired as a talent because you have talent. So it's not it's not like you like she's a beautiful lady. So she has talent that would be just fine outside of WWE. They saw something in her. She's attractive. She, you know, she was yeah. she didn't even win tough enough. And they still brought her on because <laughs> because she has talent. So you don't that's the thing with business. I'm hiring you or you're hiring me because I have something to bring to the table. If I didn't have anything to bring to the table, you wouldn't be paying me money. Like that would be a waste of paying money because I, if I don't, if I'm not an asset, why, do, why am I even there? So she's clearly, they thought she was an asset. They brought in NXT. She had a title for over a year. Clearly she was, you know, making some noise in the NXT division. So she's bringing her talent there. So it's not just WWE saying, we're going to hire you. We're going to build a brand or a platform for you. Well, I'm helping you too because I'm I'm bringing eyes to NXT, which is Triple H's baby. So it's 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 both. You know, it's a both type of deal. So even with that, if she wants to do things, projects on by herself as a grown woman outside of the company, you shouldn't be having your hands in every single revenue stream that she's getting. If she yeah. just decided, if, if she decides, hey, guess what? I want to start Ubering tonight because I'm bored. Is the WWE going to be like, oh, well, you be sure you got to, you got to, you got to be sure to let us know? You know, like that. That's not what independent contractors do. That's not how it works. That's, that's if, why. If you want to have your hand in in their revenue stream, you have, uh, you you start having conflicts of interest stuff on the clause, and you start giving them benefits. I mean, that, that's when we can start talking. Yeah, that's why. In that is the crux of the problem are professional wrestlers within the WWE elsewhere. Definitely. But within there, are they truly independent contractors? Right. 